The impacts of plastic waste polluting our planet are far-reaching and devastating. We'll be drowning in plastic unless we take action now. But in the face of what seems to be a massive global disaster, we find hope for a solution. At the moment, we're traveling to the province of Sarabri, which is the gateway to the populous northeastern region of Thailand. There, we're going to meet with the founders of the company, Sepco Industries. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Dr. Mehta. Thank you so much for having us here today. How long has this really been going? When did this process actually begin? The Hyaluronic system has been with us for many, many years. The first generation, 15 years ago, with that one, is still working. Okay. It's still, it's still wait, working. Of it course. still works. It still, still makes money for us. It's still making money. <laughs> so it's yes, producing fuel right now. Of course, we produce the fuel, put it into our car, send it to the farmer, send it to the logistic company. I would like to introduce the chief engineer officer and he is the man behind all the success in here, Ooh. Mr. Thawat Kulabut. He won the first gold medal for the innovation of this system. This is the first generation. So we use firewood to generate the heat for the system. We need the heat to melt the plastic to create the smoke and then after that we take it out to uh, distillation later on. So this is second generation, a little bit different because of that one we put it in the factory and this one we put in the cross area here. We need to know that is the emission leaking out from the system or not. Basically to make it run cleaner. Cleaner, improving for the emission. So, so this is the third generation model. But this one we have 10,000 liters a day. So this is the first model that you expanded production to 10,000 liters, 10, liters a day. 10,000 liters a day. This is the what we call the last generation of the batch system. We put the 20 ton of the waste plastic in and it generates approximately 13,000, 15,000 liters of the diesel. So here we are at the Polypetron Gen 5, the final model of your system. Obviously, yes. you've developed the technology for efficiency. Of course, yes. And uh, yes. to get more output. 20 tons of plastic, you can get at least 15,000 liters up to 18,000 liters. The important thing about this is that it's running continuously, non-stop. Non-stop, 24 hours a day. The first one, you might get some smell, some ordering system disturb you. But second one, a little bit like that, but the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, is no thing coming out at all. If we coming out, we reuse it again in this one. Okay, so everything's running cleaner and cleaner, more efficiently. More efficiently. Advanced development of the Polypetron comes at a crucial time when the demand for such technology is higher than ever. The world today is overwhelmed in its struggle with waste management because many countries like China have decided to stop accepting plastic waste imports. This sudden change has brought the world to a crisis point with trash stacking up and screaming for a solution. Despite the increase in alternative energy, the demand for oil is going up, not down. Fuel consumption is expected to grow 25% from 2015 to 2040, fueling rising demand for renewable energy solutions. In January 2018, the European Parliament announced new legislation on energy efficiency, requiring greater use of advanced biofuels, which include waste-based fossil fuels like the oil produced by the Polypetron. The law requires a share of 1.5% advanced biofuels by 2021 and at least 10% by 2030. This creates a huge demand and allows them to be sold at a premium. When refined, this pyrolysis oil produces over 60% European standard EN590 diesel and at least 20% gasoline. 
The remaining byproducts of gas and char are not wasted, but reused to further heat the reactor, bringing a sustainable, renewable, clean and efficient production process. The persistent determination of Dr. Mehta, Mr. Tawat, and their team of scientists and researchers have brought us a tangible solution to the global waste crisis by making effective use of the plastics that we have carelessly discarded for so many generations. What has been destructive pollution can now be converted to a renewable source of energy to fuel the future.